The light-emitting diode is a special type of diode constructed by appropriate semiconductors. LED has similar electrical characteristics to PN junction diode. The PN junction of LED is surrounded by a transparent epoxy resin. When a LED is forward biased, converts electrical energy to visible light, photons, based on the recombination of electrons and holes in the semiconductor, a process called electroluminescence. LEDs are available in a wide range of shapes and packages, colors, sizes and light intensities. The wavelength of the emitted narrow spectrum light depends on the energy band gap of the semiconductor materials, forward voltage. LEDs for lighting are rated in terms of luminous efficacy. It is the ratio of luminous flux to electrical input power and is measured in lumens per watt. Lumen is a measure of the total quantity of visible light emitted by a light source. When 100% of the electrical power is converted to light at a wavelength of 555 nanometers, highest human eye sensitivity, the efficacy of the light source attains the absolute maximum value of 683 lumens per watt. The maximum value for white light is about 350 lumens per watt. To produce white light, the LEDs are covered with a phosphor, yellowish, material, that converts the emitted narrow spectrum light to the familiar white light. Typical luminous efficacy values for a white LED are in the range of 100 to 200 lumens per watt, much higher compared to incandescent lamps and fluorescent tubes. LEDs are incorporated into bulbs and fixtures for general lighting applications. Some LED bulb solutions resemble the appearance of traditional incandescent bulbs. While LEDs produce much more light per electrical input power compared to incandescent bulbs, they consume significant energy as heat, making thermal management a critical factor in their lifespan. The higher the temperature at which the LEDs operate, the faster the light intensity will decrease. In LED bulbs, the individual LED are connected in series, LED array, and placed on an aluminum single-sided PCB. Large LED bulbs additionally include a heat sink to remove heat. Using the test circuit shown, the VI characteristic curves of two LED arrays were measured with 4 and 12 LED. The forward voltage of the LEDs used in the bulbs ranges from 3 volts to 36 volts. The forward voltage of the LED decreases as its temperature increases. As a result, the LED array must be supplied with a constant current to avoid overheating. A buck converter is used for this purpose. The simple buck or step-down converter provides to resistive load RL a voltage VO similar to PWM control signal VG. By inserting a coil L, the voltage VO is smoothed out. In this case, a freewheeling diode DF is required. By adding capacitor C, the smoothing of voltage V, O, is much better. The duty cycle D, of the PWM signal V, G, defines the average value of the output voltage V, O. The frequency F, S, of the PWM signal V, G, defines the values of L, C, filter.
In the boundary conduction mode, the coil current IL is zeroed out at the end of the switching period TS. The four intervals during a switching period are identical to continuous conduction mode. In the discontinuous conduction mode, the coil current IL is zeroed out before the end of the switching period TS. The first four intervals during a switching period are identical to continuous conduction mode. In the fifth interval, only the capacitor supplies the load current, IO. The LED bulbs are usually connected to the 230 volts AC mains. As a result, the bulbs include a rectifier and a buck converter to supply the LED array with constant current.
The BP2863 chip simplifies circuit implementation as it integrates the bridge rectifier, freewheeling diode, and power supply. Compared to BP2831A, the threshold voltage is 373 millivolts instead of 400 millivolts. Thank you.